Well, the fallout continues from the WNBA finals between the Minnesota Lynx and the New York Liberty, where the New York Liberty held off the Minnesota Lynx 67 to 62 in overtime. And it ended on a controversial call. And Cheryl Reeves was livid at the post-game press conference. Before we get off into today's podcast, tell a friend to tell a friend. guys the fallout continues from the WNBA finals and the WNBA championship where the New York Liberty brought home the championship for the first time in 28 years their first championship the New York Liberty um, prevailed and that game came down to a controversial call and everybody went to Twitter even the likes of LeBron James said it was a it was a terrible call. Um, basically, the refs missed a call. Basically, they should have called a travel on Brianna Stewart before they even called the foul. But the foul call was so minimal that they went to review, and when they went to review, their explanation was that the girl was in illegal guarding position. Now, what is the terminology of illegal guarding position? When I looked at the play. I thought the ref should have swallowed the whistle because there was no contact hand as part of the ball. Was the girl moving? I don't think so. I think the refs got the call wrong. And a lot of people saying that that WNBA championship was stolen away from the Minnesota Lynx. Well, regardless of how you slice it and dice it, um, you never leave the game in the officials hands. And people like to say when you're, in an NBA championship or a WNBA championship to have the game come down to the way in balance where the official makes a, a impactful call like that. I mean, it's, it's gut wrenching and you send Brianna Stewart to the line where she tied it up and the game eventually went into overtime and in overtime, New York Liberty, they handled their business. They did what they had to do to bring the WNBA championship to New York and that overtime it was abundantly clear that New York just was the hungrier team. Um, they started out the overtime period with a three-pointer by Leone Fibich. And, you know, I was saying to myself that they stopped going, Minnesota stopped going to Nafisha Collier down in the paint. And then she fouled out the game. I know she was visibly frustrated. Um, they just couldn't get nothing going on the offense. Um, Courtney Williams, she was turning the ball over at a high clip. I thought Kayla McBride was trying to play hero ball. They stopped going into Nafisha Kaya. Nafisha Kaya was getting the ball down in the paint. And when New York took a five-point lead with under two minutes to go, they went on down into possession. Minnesota got the ball down in Nafisha Kaya. Nafisha Kaya went to work, and she tied the game back up. So I just thought that, you know, in a situation like that, Minnesota was fighting to finale. They was playing... You know, in New York, the crowd was going crazy and Minnesota was right there. And a lot of people say that, you know, that championship was stolen away from the Minnesota Lynx. I mean, the ref had a major part in that because I thought the call shouldn't have been no call. I thought they should have swallowed the whistle just like they should have swallowed the whistle in game four when they called the foul on Sabrina Ionescu when she boxed out. You know, Courtney Williams, she boxed her out and, you know, they called a foul on her. I thought they should have swallowed the whistle and gave the girl a chance to go to the foul line to um to win the game. So you never leave, leave it in the ref's hands. But a lot of people are crying, crying wolf. A lot of people saying it's just not right that, you know, the championship shouldn't have ended that way. But nevertheless, man, we got to tip our cap to the New York Liberty, man. They brought it home. They won. They are the new 
2024 WNBA champions. However, y'all like to call it. We did a show last night and we was talking about the officials and, you know, how everybody thought it just don't feel right. That championship does not feel right. Even though New York won, it just don't feel right because the Minnesota Lynx was cheated and it was stolen right from them in front of a ruckus New York crowd. So let's take a listen to what um, Cheryl Reeves had to say at the post-game press conference after last night's game. Let's take a listen. Forgive me. Um, I don't. I really don't have an answer for that. It's just pretty deep for me. Um, and plus, there's proprietary secrets. <laughs> Anyone else in the room? They only here to cause confusion. Second row. Um, Cheryl Niara came in and was great for them tonight. She what did she did she do things differently, or was it just no, more that she, she was got tremendous the in the playoffs? Niara Sabli was mm-hmm. tremendous in the playoffs. Really gave them a lift every single time she got minutes, and not surprised that I mean they went big. You know, it was it's crazy how the series ended. Right for four games, it was about the three ball, three ball, three ball. Certainly offensive rebounds throughout the whole thing. Uh, but then tonight came down to points in the paint. We only was scoring the paint. We had I don't know 40, 44 was it. Right. Um, so it was really interesting how the series ended, you know, with with them playing bigger. You know, they won the game with their defense, no doubt about it, with their defense. And um, defense wins anyway, championships. Too, Sobley was a, you know, uh, her minutes were really good, really helpful. They say them. it all the time. Offense sells coaches. I know all the headlines uh, will be Reeve cries foul. Uh, bring it on. Right. Bring it on. Because this shit was stolen from us. Mm. Bring it on. Stolen. Well, we talked about it, you know. Um, we know we could have done some things, right? But you shouldn't have to overcome to that extent. This shit ain't that hard. Officiating it, it's not that hard. When someone is being held, be consistent. If you don't want to call hold at one, then don't call it at the other. Be consistent. Every team asked for that, right? Sandy asked for that last game. So there are three of the games in the series, we're talking about the same damn thing, right? So um, I tell That's these guys, off. no. For whatever reason, it didn't work out, right? It just doesn't feel right um, mm. that you lose a series with that level of discrepancy, you know? Um, and we don't have a team that whines and complains and, you know, all that stuff. And, you know, sometimes it probably hurts us. Maybe being a little more, do- I don't know, something. But I mean, I just think that, um, you know, you have a star player like Fee, you know, I just, I don't get it. I don't get how um, she can be held and go to the basket Visibly and get hit. And then Visibly. a marginal, at best, at best, yeah, sends their ball. best player to the free throw line. I agree. That's, I mean, that's just, that's tough. It's tough to swallow. It is tough. Just like our 2016 championship uh, that, that, was, that was lost, um, officiating, you know, missing a shot clock violation. This, this sucks. This is for a championship, right, for both teams. Let them decide it. What contact is legal should be the same for both teams. I agree. This isn't that hard. And so it's disappointing. You know, I mean, congratulations to the Liberty on their first championship. Been around, I don't know, how long has the league been around? 28 years? It took them 28 years. Congrats to them. Wow. So you heard what Cheryl Reeves had to say at the end. She kind of took a shot at New York. She said, congrats to them. It took them 28 years to win a championship. So she really took a dig in that sense. But... I totally agree with um, Cheryl Reeves on this, man. Um, minimal contact. You got to swallow the whistle. I don't care what y'all say in the comments. Y'all keep on saying, KSAP, stop saying the refs need to swallow the whistle. They got to swallow the whistle, and Cheryl Reeves said that. Let these girls play. Let them fight it out, man. So a lot of people saying that this championship was stole right from Minnesota, man. Um, I mean, it was a great series. Um, a lot of viewership, man. This is what the WNBA needed. Um, it's bringing awareness to the WNBA and these girls, man. And I'm looking forward to next season and, you know, unrivaled coming up and we're going to see what, you know, that has to bring, but you know, Brianna Stewart and the Fisha that they making, they making big moves, man, for this unrivaled, man. You know, the amount of money that's invested in the unrivaled. I mean, that's good for the WNBA. Um, these girls are handling business, man, not only on the court, but outside the court, you know, they, Financial wealth, man. They bringing in the money, man. So kudos and tip your cap to the women. Uh, um, shout out to the New York Liberty, man, for bringing that um, championship home. But a lot of people say it just don't feel right. A lot of people 
still feel that Minnesota Lynx was robbed. Um, they was did a disservice by the referees, and they think that Minnesota should be the WNBA champions. But you guys let me know what y'all think down in the comments section. The Cheryl Reef, Cheryl Reeves got a, a, a legitimate beef. Does she got a, a legitimate gripe? I think she does, but hey, it is what it is. We got a tip or cap to New York, man. And that's going to wrap up another episode of the Simple Ball Dropping Podcast. I'm your host and the man behind the mic, K. Sap. We're going to catch you on the next one. And remember, if you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. Turn your post notifications on so you know every time Simply Ball Dropping drops another hot banger. And before you leave and put your shoes on, do me a favor. Give this video a thumbs up and tell a friend to tell a friend. It might not be for you, but it might be for them. And we're going to catch you on the next one. Deuces. To the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share on all major platforms. That's all, folks.